all right good morning everybody happy friday um i promised i would be back um i hope that y'all can see the lighting i need to invest in a ring light i'm doing the best i can i don't really like this setup because you can't see like my face clear on it makes it look kind of uh but please accept me as i am i hope that everyone is rested and is excited about the weekend I want to open my reading with my scripture cards, scripture pullings, and pray for y'all as well. So, Holy Spirit, I ask that you protect me as well as my collective, whoever um, is choosing to accept and visit and participate in this reading. I pray that their Friday and this weekend is of joy and simply pure bliss. And that they have as much protection and light as needed. And um, kiss their loved ones as well. And in return, I ask that you strengthen them up. Give them courage. Give them power. And let them know that they're loved. And they don't ever have to feel unloved. And that you are there for them. Um, send in love peace and light and joy as always so let's go ahead and get started let's get into the reading so alrighty let's see what does the holy spirit want us to hear today take those that we popped out It's starting to get cold over here, y'all. I did. I just had to wet my hair a little bit, so I might have the sniffles. But anyways, please excuse me. Okay, so it says, Proverbs chapter 17, verse 22. A merry heart doeth good like a medicine. So... When and now, even if you're going through ups and downs, it's always good. God wants you to know to keep a hopeful and cheerful heart. And um, still continue to press on. Then I have, ye shall have a song as in the night when a holy solemnity is kept in gladness of the heart. So it's a lot about your heart. So keep courage no matter what. And I seen that um, last night I posted like a little funny um, short. And it seemed like everybody enjoyed with the little statue lady um, from the movies where she was whooping the zombie's butt. And then she went back to, hmm, she got back on her business. Stay on your job. So that's what God is wanting you to know. Just stick your chest out. Stay strong. It's your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Luke chapter 12 verse 32. So it is his business. If you're faithful unto him, he'll give you anything. You don't ever have to be without or go without. Oh, okay, this is a very good one. Search me, O oh God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts and lead me in the way everlasting. Psalms chapter 139, verses 23 and 24. So if you're dealing with harsh judgment, criticism, gossiping, like I was talking about yesterday, oh, uh, just shake it off, man. People are going to talk. Like I said, they're talking because they want to belittle you. They want to make you feel small, less of, like you can't do it or you don't have the power to, you know, have control over your life. So, um, God knows your heart and he's in charge, not them, not what other people say about you. He knows, he knows um, your soul and your spirit. So don't even worry about it. Well, it's not 
focusing. I'm gonna get it together for y'all. There we go. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and dive into the reading for today. Oh, it's cold. I'm done I'm trying to be cute. <laughs> I'm going to uh, go back in with my dark deck. This I call this one my dark one because it warns me and it warns y'all of what drama and chaos and negative spirits people are conjuring up to send your way. I work well with this deck and this is also my charisma deck. I resonate well with the topic of charisma and um, having faith and just having self-love no matter what someone has to say about you. So let's get into it. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle. That a lot of people pet, uh, pissed off simply because you being yourself. And a lot of people can't do that. They always have to fake the funk. Man, be yourself. That's how you're going to get more respect. I haven't even ate breakfast yet or cooked, so I'm going to go ahead and try to get this done for y'all. So, I can feed myself. So, let's see what's going on. We have nine of intelligence. So, yeah. Oh, they see you like I was talking about yesterday. Your aura, the light around you, all your healing work that you've been doing. They're mad at your, your thoughts, your intelligence. You're smart as hell. I said, man, some people could be mad because you're exposing a lot of stuff. And you know a bunch of stuff, and it's scaring them, it's shaking them up. Said so it's it's shooting them in the in the heart, it's taking a square out their chest, man, because of what you know. And said so they scared too, is what I'm getting. Said so they sick to their stomach because they don't know what you gonna talk about next. You smart, and said so they envy your intelligence, nine of intelligence. Yep, they see you, you have a future plan. All your seeds that have been sown into the Holy Spirit, they say you got a, um, a outlook over life and it's bright, it's really bright. Your future is gonna be big. It's gonna be big, it don't matter if you're not as big right now or whatever project you're working on or you know whatever you've been speaking on, prophesying. People see that you're serious and you got your heart set and you're dead in your tracks and nobody can stop you from moving forward. And, um, yeah, says some people nosy too. That's what I'm getting. They want to see what your future holds. They want to see what you're about to inherit. That's what I'm getting. How that lady breaking her neck. That's what's coming to mind this morning for me. Ah, so they want to know what's brewing, what's cooking. Here we go. Seven of Charisma. Say, so yeah, they see your self-love is powerful. Can't nobody tell you nothing, man. You love yourself. And like I was talking about as well yesterday, self-love is a weapon. That's something that I've grown over a lifetime because, man, I used to get bullied when I was little. Even when I'm grown, used to get bullied. 
people still try to, you know, make me feel some type of way, it don't faze me because, you know, I've grown and I know why people do it. Like I said, to make you feel low, to try to attack your confidence and they say you got it nipped in the butt and they mad about it. You got a lover coming in with a love offer, say, with shady intentions, how he got this mask on. And he sit back in his chair, said he could be watching you, keeping tabs on you, stalking you. Say, want to come in with a love offer. Could be a fresh start, trying to start over in a relationship. Could be marriage, could be a proposal. And, um, yeah, that's what I'm getting. Same old in, in wicked intentions. I said it's up to you if they do come your way and come to you make sure you think long and hard about it don't just be like yes 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 think about it think about what they put you through in the past and just try to get a, a grasp of it overall just think about it man seven of intelligence and said so with the with the seven of intelligence, it's giving me the thought of that they're just going to try to use flattery and try to be all pimp daddy ish and smooth and butter you up and make you ew, make you gush and all that and think they're gonna win you over. Be careful, <laughs> you got a slick one on your hands. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, this power couple said, man. Even if you're a male, when I read, it's for both sexes, male or female. They see that you have the potential to inherit a lot of worthy love or lovers. And said a lot of people are mad. They envy that. They don't want you to come together because, like I said, you're going y'all. The both of y'all are going to be powerful. Y'all gonna be tearing shit up in the world. And said, you both of y'all gonna harness a lot of light, a lot of creativity, a lot of power, a lot of success, a lot of protection from the higher source, hope the Holy Spirit. That's what I'm getting. And said, you got some people defending you now. You got some people that's seeing your heart and your soul, the clarity of you. And said, because you're getting stronger and they seeing how far you came, man. And said, some people could want to protect you or defend you. That's what I'm getting. How she got that light around her and said, she's very strong. She's armored up and they're guarding her. They're like, no, nah, you're not going to touch my collective. You're not going to touch her. She means well. We got your back, man. That's what I'm getting. Let's see. Queen of Wisdom. You could be beautiful and wise. And said, just because you're wise, said, forget the makeup, forget all the, you know, attachments, accessories, dressing nice. Of course, that matters. But people see that your wisdom, male or female, makes you look more attractive, more handsome, more um, vibrant, more beautiful for my females, said, said that's like makeup itself or a fresh cut i'm telling you say you got people oozing man because you simply love yourself and you accept yourself and you don't have to break your neck to do the most that's what i'm getting queen of wisdom Yeah, people want your um, secret formula, like the, the Krabby Patty formula off of Spongebob. So you got a bunch of planktons around you and say they want to know what your source is, where you get your power and your strength from the Holy Spirit, the higher source, however you want to say it. That's where you get it from. You need to let it be known every time you show your face. Oh, my nose is running. Excuse me. Um, let's see. Yeah. 
I say it could be a group of people, family members, friends, exes, it don't matter, whatever the um, the cause is. So they sitting around, they watching you, they talking about you, they see that you strong, man. They see they're wild, they're amazed. I said some could be hating that you powerful. But um uh, So, yeah, you're focused on your work. You're very creative. You're a hard worker. Page of intelligence. Yeah, five of charisma. These people sad as hell. So they see you, you doing happy, you feeling yourself, male or female. You're doing good, you're looking good, said man. They want you to be broke. They want you to struggle so you don't have so you don't have things that you need. But say either way it go, you still gonna shine. Still, they want to mess with your finances. They want you to be in a lack, a state of lack. I <laughs> said so that just popped up in my head. Said so some of them could be losing money and losing stuff and going broke, and they sitting over here looking at you. You got less of, but then you got a little bit of something, and you happy as hell. And <laughs> said so they mad about it. Either way it go, they also see that you cozy. You protected your ancestors, the angels. They're protecting the hell out of you while you chilling. Yeah, you studying, you researching, you minding your business, your crown chakra, your your knowledge. Because how I see this glow above the little kid's head is getting stronger and stronger every damn day. God said, I'm also getting that, say, your ancestors, even if you have people that's passed on, like me, my Mima, my sister, my mom, my great aunt said, well, strong, strong women of the Holy Spirit. And it said, my sister, who said, big OG, big boss, said, that was like my, my personal bodyguard, said, my sister was a thug, but, um. How he got these flames around him and these dragons and then this dude right here is huge. Said they pissed. Your ancestors, your loved ones, the angels said, boy, they finna tear these evil ass wicked people up for you. And you're going to be able to continue to do your research, study, grow, develop, and all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. So they mad. They don't like how people be trying to do you, man, collective. They pissed. And they're going to do something about it. Um, Ace of Wisdom. Yep, you're strong. The Holy Spirit keep giving you downloads and putting you on and giving you fresh information every day. So he's strong as hell. So look, he's con look at them roots in the ground. Strong as hell. Roots everywhere growing. Connected to everything. And said, we still got this boo-boo the fool sitting up here. So they mad. They hating. They still sitting up there talking about, no, I'm the chosen one. No, I have to lie. No, I love God. But you don't. You a phony. You a fake. You a liar. You a fraud. You all of that. You a copycat. Said they trying to mimic you. They an alcoholic. They sit up there drinking. Like I said, said, look at this in the reflection. 
how that thing look all sad and scraggly. That's how they soul feel. That's how they really feel. But they sit up there popping pills, drinking, smoking, mixing stuff, say doing hard drugs, snorting cocaine. I'm telling you. And they trying to hide how they really feel. Say they could have blue eyes. Say they could be Caucasian. They making this same ass expression that this little minion is making. Because they, they bitter. They feel some type of way. I'm telling y'all, man. And say every day, the way these gears in the back, they trying to think of some shit to throw at you or gossip about. To try to uh make them look better. Make them look like they're of the light. And they're not. Night of Charisma. Say a damn fool. Look, drinking and stuff. All them bottles. A goddamn fool. It is what it is. Yeah, man. Say you got some haters. If you have a platform... I say, even if you have people that watch you and say, like me, for example, said, for instance, say they just dry watch me and all the light, I mean, the views be going up, but they don't support me. But yet they be there every day, every day, every day, just looking, just looking like that lady said on, on a, um, you name it video, that lady was up in the, the, the church audience. She's talking about looking like that. That's how they be looking, just be looking and say they, they don't want to give you support, but they really, they like you. They're obsessed with you and your light and said, man, they don't want to pay you. They don't want you to get an increase and in ad, ad, advance. They don't want you to get support. How he holding all that gold to him. That's what came to mind. Don't worry about it. It's going to come. It might not come now, but it's going to come because you've been busting your ass and you deserve it. And said times when you don't expect anything and when you're not personally looking for it, that's when it's going to come. So don't even worry about it. It's simply enough that they just looking. That's more than enough. Four of Charisma. And they probably don't want to give it to you and give you your props because they think you all that. They think you uppity and stuck up. And no, you just love yourself. You confident. You're witty. You're sassy. You're classy. Male or female. Like you on the tip of your toes and they mad. Because they, they misreading you, misjudging you. And they feeling some type of way. And on the bottom of the deck, we got the lovers, baby. I'm telling you, man, this car played out. But say you got a lot of new romance. Said you got these two lovers. Said could be your past ex-lovers. Said they watching you. They want to find you. They want to figure out where the hell you at. I'm telling you. Said they, I'm telling you, they could be competing. Trying to see if you got a new boo or you booed up. If you with somebody already. If you talking to somebody. Who you sleeping with? Yes, who you sleeping with? All of that. I'm telling you, said they strung out the lover's card. Said they worried, man. And said they did you wrong, but they sent up, they, they sent up there worrying and feeling some type of way. Man, get out of here. And then, so, um, yeah, I took my ring off for my ex fiance finally. And, um, yeah, finally. And at first, you know, the guy that came to me that was sent by God, uh, we kind of bumped heads about it. He was like, um, uh, you're going to have to take that ring off. You're going to have to take that ring off. Kept saying it over and over and would get angry about it. He was like, I don't like looking at it uh, and stuff like that. But it got confirmed last night from one of my Soul Tribe members, one of my spiritual mommies. She was like, now's the time. Said if you holding on to old clothing, old jewelry, things that bring you memories that weren't 
as um joyous or they brought you they remind you of sad times and trauma she said you need to get rid of it said that's why i've been chopping up a bunch of stuff said chopped up this dress say it came from an ex-lover and some parents chopped it up made it into a tank top said the ring is gone i might sell it i don't know might melt it down make something else and um i got rid of a bunch of stuff but yeah and I was wearing it because it was a beautiful ring and I adored it. Not because I adored him and I was sprung on him because it also it was a milestone. I believe that I was going to get married and it was going to work. It didn't. Am I broken about it? No, it hurt. But then also I know that God's going to send me my kingdom spouse. So I have nothing to worry about. I said, who wouldn't want a, a shot with me? I'm not trying to be arrogant. But I finally got away from all the trauma felt people, all the demons, all the succubus, all the Jezebels. They want to shield me out as a kid, as a child, even as an adult. Try to beat me down, make me feel some type of way, physically beat me, abusive relationships, emotionally. So I couldn't dig into my powers, learn about all this art and all this talent and all this creation that God passed down to me from my grandmother, from my sister's knowledge for my mother and uh, my great aunt, all of that. Say, who wouldn't? They want me to feel all ugly, ugly Betty and less up. No, it ain't happening. I'm. It's going to come. It's going to come. So, oh, well, take it how y'all want to take it. The Chariot. Yeah, somebody trying to rush in. A king <laughs> said a kingdom spouse, like I was just saying. Or somebody on your level. Said, look how he riding that mug. Said, he coming, man. Knight of Wisdom said, they pissed. They want to... Excuse me, snatch your light away from you. How he rolling over these beautiful yellow flowers with his steel armor and shit. Mad. Because you're wise and beautiful. You're handsome and wealthy. That's that Migos. I love that song. I'm telling you, is it because a nigga handsome and wealthy? Handsome. Is it cause a nigga cut like a professor? Professor, they mad. Night of wisdom. Yeah, you're going to be able to meet other people that are like you soon. So just hold on. You're not alone. So that's how I used to feel. And then like, until I found my soul tribe and said... Um, they're higher than me, high class celebrities. I'm just like in a midsection. I'll be there soon. Am I bitter about it? Sad? No, I just got to keep working hard like they always tell me and give me little compliments and comment back to me sometimes. I know they're busy and working, but yeah, they do comment back to me sometimes and tell me stuff. Tell me I'm a queen. Tell me to keep going. They make me blush. I'm just like, hey. They've been there and helped me get through way much more than pe even family and people that hurt me. So you can bump what you know. Ain't nobody ever going to tell me to stop listening to them. But I always put God first and said he, he guided me to like-minded people. They're coming soon. I'm excited. My last package is coming today. And I want to show y'all. I got like some more protection stuff coming. Like for my work. Oh, it's going to be cool. As well as my clothes. Because it's getting cold out here. And I need my little, my little long sleeve shirts and stuff. So yeah. Ten of intelligence. They mad. They mad about your wisdom. Your power. Your smartness. Your brainiac. You killing them out here, man. 
and they mad. Look at them try to get in. Well, you prayed up. She all focused and I'ma stayed out. All that light around her. She too smart. He or she, male or female. You can see the bullshit coming before they try to put it in their pot and stir it. Say so you going so hard, they didn't forgot to put the ingredients in the pot and said it's bitter, it's bland. They mad. Ten of intelligence. Will of fortune, yeah. A lot of people want to come back because they see that you going somewhere. They greedy. They money hungry. They want to be in your fame and your light with you. Ah, so sorry God said you can't come. Because when you had the collective, you fumbled her. Trey Songs fumbled your heart. Go look that up and listen to it. Yeah, it's coming to an end, all this foolery. They want your soul. Because they see that you can manifest like a mug. And everything that you spoke on is coming true. So they want your soul. They dirty, they devilish, they grimy, they slimy. Oh, well. You could be a Virgo. Birthday could be a September. You could have a pet. You could be thinking about getting a totem pet, a spiritual pet. Um, pets are very sensitive as well. I'm really connected to animals, really. They come to me all the time, and they actually talk to me. I remember with my ex, I had he got me a um, a baby kitten, and I named her Delilah when I got released from jail behind his little raggedy butt. And she was sweet, said she was sassy. She had a personality like me, almost like she was my child. She used to do her paw like this and point at her like, mow me. And I used to laugh. I loved her. She was thick, said she little curves and the way she would walk down the hall and she'd be all demanding and stuff. She was really smart and really sweet. And said so she started to betray me. That's how I knew when he was stirring that pot with his friends and all that other wicked speaking on me and conjuring up stuff she's she turned on me and um she started acting mean she didn't want to come to me it broke my heart like i like i cried about it she started acting funny with me and stuff like that and then one day you know how you pick up like a pit bull or a puppy by their skin when they get out of line and they misbehave you do the same with a cat so i picked her up by her skin so she called herself try to tussle with me and i looked her dead in her eyes i gripped it tight i said don't you ever bite the hand that fed you literally and took care of you because she was going to die when we first got her. She had had open stomach surgery and she had like a little stitches on her little belly. Bless her heart. And um, I healed her. I healed her. And um, because she had like a sinus congestion, she couldn't breathe. And it made me think of a, a kid when they're congested and they can't breathe. And it's sad to see them like they can't get no oxygen. So I was healing her. I swiped a little Vicks under her nostrils. And they said she was up and at it. She was playing. It worked the same. She could breathe. Like she was eating more and stuff like that. I healed her. I brought her back. She was supposed to die. But, um, yeah, it broke my heart. Some of y'all could be looking into getting a totem pet. Like I said, a spiritual pet. You could be resting. You could be meditating. You could be surrounding yourself in knowledge, studying, gaining more knowledge. That's what I'm getting. You could be a Virgo or you don't have to be a, a Virgo. Four of wisdom. Yeah, you keep getting back up. You shining. You're, you're Man, you doing them dirty. You getting back up, all this spell work. It's like the more drama and the more gossip they throw at you, you eat it up. You eat it like um vitamins. And you fuel off of that. You go hard, male or female. Look, you keep breaking out of them strongholds, out of the dark. They want you to be stuck, laid on your back. Laid like them little tapes at the crime scene when they be all splattered out and shaped on the ground with that tape. You keep breaking through that shit. You strong, man. You keep coming back out of it. And like I say, you're connected to everything. Animals, natures, the earth, the dirt, the sand, the grass, the trees, the hierophant, baby. You shining. Everything got your back out here, man. Oh, I see the devil card. I'm done. 
like I said before it even came out. Look, still trying to do spell work and they raggedy. It's a cult. Could be three people. It ain't working. I said to me, this look like three people in the past that I know. Said that look like Kathy, that look like John, and said that look like his mama, Cheryl. Evil as hell. I remember that motherfucker told me when I went over there, it was Christmas, and go went went back to the back room to give him something and was racist about it. Said, bless his heart, and I forgive you. Gonna talk about um don't steal nothing. And he 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 I looked at him and I looked at myself. I said, my nigga, I got money. I have my own money. And I give him my ex money. We put we put our money together and build. Go talking about don't steal or don't touch nothing. Racist. Bless his heart. I said, oh, I rebuke it in the mighty name of Jesus. I said, I know you didn't. Steal what? I said, baby, I don't steal. I work hard for everything that I got. And I'm a creator. I said, but evil and shysty. But anyways, page of charisma. Yeah, they trying to, man, attack your light, your self-love, your charisma. They sit up there talking about, no, nah, wait, we're going to do it like this. Oh, this is what we going to do. It ain't going to work. The moon card. Yeah, they mad. They mad. A lot of people mad because you holding on to your light and you shielded how she looks. She shielded, baby. All your power, your light, everything's protected. God got you, man. They mad. Somebody got red nails. Sit down. Red, you always got red nails. The fool card, because you're roaming free. You're living your life. You can express yourself now without people worrying about you, man. You're eating good. You're living good. You're looking good. You're smelling good. Everything. Yeah, they mad. They mad about your strength. It's all about the strength today. In your knowledge, what you know. They collabing. Trying to conjure up people's smear campaigns to take tear you down. What I say. Whatever. Awesome what I'm getting that um like I said man yesterday knowledge is power oh you got that red globe right there and you got it getting it from the book that's one message that I'm getting knowledge is power and it's a, a survival tool it's golden to you and you use it fiercely every day and they be mad about it you turn your pain into power Look how scarce it is. Nothing. No greenery. And says so she pouring out her emotions, turning it into power, making beauty, magic. That mushroom, making magic, baby. They mad, I'm telling you. They don't want you to appear to be graceful, to be loving, kind, smart, wise, all of that, male or female. How they trying to beat your light and your protection out. Look at them, trying to swat it away. They mad. Yeah, ancestors got your back, the angels, while you get to show up and show out. I'm sorry to say, take it how you want to. Nothing but strength. You dripping in it. It's everywhere. <laughs> they mad. They want you to be stuck. They want you to be confused about your thoughts, your intuition. But you're not confused. 
They want you to doubt yourself, the hangman, and be stuck like Chuck. Oh, well. I was going to use my love deck, but I'm going to use the short one that I made next because I'm getting hungry. I need to eat. <laughs> Yeah, man, I'm telling you, they want your knowledge. They want to attack your knowledge. How the minion, the little devil above his crown, crown chakra, where you get your wisdom and all your information from, from the higher source, the Holy Spirit. People acting like, man, yeah, some people copying you, studying you hard, said, man, they are nobody. They mad. Somebody ain't living too fresh. They living in the funk. They living in clutter, dirt. Said they drinking, doing drugs. Said they ain't taking care of their body. Food wise, health wise, hygiene wise, they nasty. And said they sitting up there trying to figure out how to find new plots and schemes on how to get money. And they bidding on you, thinking they're going to come to you, psych. Yeah, they obsessed with your light, night of strength. And you tearing them up, like I said, daily with radiance and positivity. And they mad about it. I said, like I said, a lot of people are amazed. They didn't think, they didn't think he was going to come this far. They know they got to leave you alone. Ace of Charisma, that's what I'm giving. How he bowing. Man, they know they got to leave you alone. The devil card. Want you to fall into sin. Saying making false claims on you. False, uh, excuse me, false reports. Trying to get you caught up, set up. You could be sober. Could be wanting you to go back down your dirty road. And, you know, go back to the dark and sin. So you can't win. They want your power. They want your vitality, your innocence, your youth. The devil card. Nothing but bad and empty promises and bad intentions yeah like i said king or queen of charisma man you can't be touched you can have anything you can do anything when you're confident because when everybody know when you're not confident you don't have that power that drive to feel like you know you can achieve things and they mad about it you the king or queen of charisma Page of wisdom. Yeah. They see you. They see. You can have a fresh start. Look at her planning. She knows what's going to happen. Male or female. Y'all know it's coming. Fresh start, man. Vitality. Look at them pink flowers. Judgment. Could it be judged by God? I'm telling you. And this lover, man, I'm telling you, this romance trying to fly in and say, man, they want y'all bad. Look how they charged in and said, look, jealous and said, this one on the other side don't look too happy about it. Could be family members or, you know, friends try to hold them back to say, they're like, no, I'm coming. I want to talk to collective. I want to try to fix things, man. So they charging in. Temperance card, all these demons around you, man. Like I said, some people jealous, they feeling some type of way. It's pissing them off that you calm and you keep namaste in their ass. Said they pissed, look how he's screaming, talking shit. Said I'm done. They could be calling you all kind of names in the book. They mad. Yeah, and this one right here said trying to conjure up and plot and scheme. Man, how are we going to break and destroy her peace? Get the, man, get out of here. The Empress card on the bottom of the deck. 
strong. I'm telling you, man, this remind me of this morning. I ain't going to talk about it, though, so I got a lucky message from someone. But, um, said they know you're not finna play with them. Not finna play with them. You mean business. You're working. You're focusing. You don't have time for drama. Yeah, they running out of time. Everybody about to see their true selves, who they really are, and why they sit up there trying to compete with you. Yeah, like I said, when you have confidence, you can do anything. People trust you. Look how they drinking and she driving the shit out that boat with all that light around her. Powerhouse, the high priestess, you strong as hell. And you got your wings. That light around her. They may be small now, like I talked about yesterday, but said pretty soon they're going to be way out here. You're going to be so goddamn powerful. People ain't going to be able to look you in the eyes, come in the room. They're going to be running from you, hiding from you. I'm telling you, man. For example, said staying here at this home said it's this chick man see she tried to gossip about me right she tried to say that um i was a prostitute right i'm just like how the hell i'm a prostitute when i never leave home i work from home i study from home like i'm like an old lady like only go out to the go to the park the store and all this other sort said she said all that because she was hating on me jealous saw all the light and said she an older woman like what, in her 40s? I'm 29. And she see that I'm wise as hell, said smarter than her. And then, like I said, she told me out her own mouth one day that I was more mature and wiser than her. And she was feeling some type of way, try to um conjure up the whole house and go against me and all that. And said, oh, dude, that was just here, said, took up for me. He was like, don't you ever say that about her. Said, she's a woman of God. Said, he was going off. <laughs> he took up for me. I was just like, ooh. See, God don't like ugly, but yeah, man, feeling some type of way. You're going to have people running. So when she hear me coming out to cook and hear my little um, jelly shoes clicking, the little pink ones that I wear, or if I, they hear me coming, so they be literally running back to their room. Because you know, well, no problems, because you know I'm going to give you that stank face. Or I'm going to be so at peace chopping up them veggies and, and seasoning that meat. It's going to make you feel some type of way. And I'm the only one that cook here. Like I own the goddamn house. Plus the guy that left me. We was the only one. The only two in here cooking. Like it was a home. But anyways. Yeah. Queen of strength. Because you strong man. You on fire. That go to show you how people really feel about you. I said, girl, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. Because if I told what you do and you know and how you be moving in the, the, the depths of the night, <laughs> say your feelings will be hurt. And I had to check her one day because she really tried it. And she ain't never came up, up against me like that again. She just be looking. I was like, yeah, please don't ever disrespect me in your life. Now, y'all probably like, oh, that's what you mean. No, I ate that shit up. And like I said, he took up for me. Now, how you doing? I said, I'm done. I said, she just mad because I like my little fitted clothes and I like my body and I like to take care of myself and I like to look good. It ain't got nothing to do with the way you look. Shoot. Feeling some type of way. The sun car, nothing but like you shining. They want to attack your heart. The hermit card.
strong. Yeah, king or queen or what you know. You're powerful. You got a lot of knowledge. Yeah, take it up for you. Got somebody that got your back. And eight of charisma, like I said, every day you get stronger. And so I know she was jealous because <coughs> she kept looking at me. She was like, oh, gave me that like a kid when they be pouting. Like, how's she getting all them groceries and all this stuff? I'm just like, because God sent him to me. And how he was serving me up food and stuff and I was in bed and all that. Said she was feeling some type of way because don't nobody got to be a whole ho to get all that stuff. So I was just being myself and said half the time I wasn't fully dressed. I had bonnets on. I didn't have a full face of makeup. I was in PJs just chilling. And he came to me. He was like, hey. I was like, hey, I'm chilling. You chilling. I don't be trying to show out the hell. It's just, I don't know. I got a big personality. I'm funny. I'm goofy. I don't know. I like to laugh. I just be chilling. I don't be trying to break my neck for attention and do all that for what? The world. Yeah, you finna get ready to turn up, celebrate. You're in the increase. Your finances. Whatever you've been working off is finna jump shot. It's finna rocket. It's finna kick off. You finna celebrate, man. Nothing but good tidings are coming your way. The magician, yeah, whatever. They still, they trying to figure out stuff, how to get you. It ain't going to work. Yep, they want to disturb your peace. Yep, queen of intelligence. Look how goddamn powerful she is with them spikes in her head. That represents all the knowledge that y'all have. So it's tear motherfuckers up, like I said. And justice is here, baby. Strong, stiff arm in their ass. Yeah, they want your forgiveness. Look how you on them knees. And you big, mighty, and hella powerful. They want your forgiveness. And they want to cause you a tower. Yeah, you got a lot of fakery around you. It's all right. It ain't going to pull through. Want you to be fat. Could want you to overeat. Be in the spirit of gluttony, like I said. Some of you actually be careful who you choose to accept food from. So they could be putting spell work over your food or actually putting shit in your food. Or they could be a kitchen witch or a kitchen warlock. Trying to get you to feel lazy. How you got that red behind him? And then said, look it up. I learned like when I was younger. I don't know if it was through school or it was something that I heard. That's why like McDonald's has red and yellow. And then like a bunch of fast food uses the color red because it makes you hungry. It's a color of psychology as well, as well as a color of power, as well as black is a color of power. And white is a color of purity. Look that up. To intrigue you, to pull you in, red and yellow, joy, clown colors, red, like I said, to entice you, yellow, to make you feel giddy, to make you feel like it's the best spot to go. When they're the, the, they're the no, I'm getting excited. When they're the number one place or restaurant on the charts in the world, in the nation for, for the highest obesity rate. Quit playing. Aid of intelligence. Yeah, they want you to be confused about what you know, but you're not. The star card, you're shining bright. You keep pouring into yourself. And look, your wings are growing. Star card. 
This emperor is coming in. I'm telling you, you got a sexy man, male or female, woman coming to you. They want you. They could be in a position of power. They could be a protector. They could like order, structure, something of the sort. They coming in. And that's going to be the end of that session. I'm going to go ahead and end it with this one so I can eat because I am hungry. Let me shuffle a little bit. Gotta get this set up better. My little back. <gasps> A little court is 29. A little 29 year old. That's why I can't wait till my order get here today. I'm about to be back at that park. Start back sprinting. I would, um, I'm walking for now, but start back like full dash sprinting and running. Because I feel like I need to, like, burn that energy off more. So I'm going to kick up my speed a notch. And be timing my um time and stuff when I run with my watch. So I can monitor my heart, too, better. Because, believe it or not, I might look healthy. Um, Years back, I used to see a cardiologist for my heart because they tried to put me on heart medication because they said a beat was off. But they said it was nothing to worry about. I was like, oh, it's something to worry about um, for me. But I haven't been in a minute. I probably should make an appointment. But that's, what, that's the Holy Spirit telling me to start back running and kick up my speed by, you know, sprinting instead of walking or jogging. Somebody say I get really jealous. I can't control the way I feel about you. They're crazy about you. Let's have makeup. SEX. Let's get married so I can ruin your life. Didn't I say that though on that in my other deck? I know what I'll be talking about. Congrats on the baby. You're pregnant. Someone's pregnant. Congratulations. Life's like a box of chocolates. You never know what crazy lover you're going to get. Dog, All dogs don't go to heaven. Count your blessings. I put why is hot down there. Six feet under. Someone says silver, could be looking at jewelry, want to propose to you or get you something nice, I guess. Maybe if they're not ready for marriage to mark their territory. I hate that you make me feel this way. Get up and dance to balance energy. Congrats, it's a boy. Someone has a missed period. Motel 6, they'll leave a light on for you. Somebody could be in a hotel, lost their home. Neither death, nor life, nor height, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God. Romans chapter 8, verses 38 through 39. Someone's having 90 thoughts about you. Wild Thoughts by Rihanna. Shout out to Riri. The queen, they're a window shopper of romance. Their intentions are false. Be careful. Practice self-love. I need your touch. I'm addicted to you. It's almost over. All this spiritual warfare they be trying to send to you. Oh, my God. My headbands are too tight on my head. I need to take one off. <laughs> it hurt. Come on, Holy Spirit. I'm hungry. Thank you. Take a pregnancy test. Something about in the morning. Somebody could want to take you to have coffee or tea or something of the sort. Something about in the morning. Love is on its way, baby. Don't give up. I told you. Love on the brain. Shout out to Riri again. I'm stuck on you. 
have some girl time, self-care. Faith works like a charm bracelet. Keep it on you at all times. I'm blessed. One week. You're one week pregnant. Could it be? <laughs> Take a pregnancy test. Um, someone has a crush on you. Sips tea. Ooh, girl. Is she hot, bro? <laughs> I'm really clingy. I don't believe in boundaries. Taste my New Orleans style. Hey, hun, why does my food taste strange? I told you, be careful. Blood magic. Or they could be um doing spell work over your food. I killed. I'm very passionate for love. If I can't have you, no one can. They crazy about you, like real crazy. I love you in a red dress, but white makes you plain. Gaslighting your emotions, so they're childish. Hi, I'm a serial lover. I'll break your heart before you know it. I fear you, so I target and go against you to weaken you. I see the light in you, just like I gave that story about the old girl. They try to lie on me. I want to make you feel small. God is working, don't worry, God got your back, you're his child. He's not picking up the phone, emotional manipulation again, ring, ring, bait, take a bath, do your nails, love you. Sing to raise your vibration. You, Your feet must hurt because you've been running through my mind all damn day, I'm addicted to you, baby. <laughs> Someone's having a girl, congratulations. Give yourself a hug. You matter and you are enough. I can, I will, I must. Love is like poison if you're not careful. I come to steal your peace because I have none. You're too calm and I don't like it. Warning. Trying to bind your energy. Warning up to no good. Do a cutting cord prayer. Ask God to return and protect your energy. love bomb me like i said as well overly kind compliments that are empty to lure you in let's pull those heartstrings my dearest love you're beautiful not really i love to destroy love connections i don't believe in love so you got someone that's a hater about your love coming in i have a surprise for you Premeditated plans, pack a bag, purchase protection, call a friend or loved one, move in silence. Shh. You'll get through this. God is working. Remember, you're not alone. Um, roses are red, violets are blue. I bet you didn't know I watch everything you do. Yeah, we know. Someone likes to play the victim. He or she is Satan's cover girl. My ugly is showing. Whoops, my evil is showing. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Plead the blood of Jesus Christ, Genesis chapter 28, verse 15. I am with thee and will keep thee in all places, whether thou goest. Darkness is my best friend, likes to sit in dark homes, rooms, hates the natural light, the sun, the vampire. It's time to piss the devil off, stand your ground, stand ten toes. I got this. Wait, am I reading? Hold on. Cha, hold on. But yeah, let me do this again. Oh, this mug long. Let me hurry up. I'm hungry. You're a man eater. You make people go crazy. They smear your reputation so no one else will want it. Didn't I just give y'all a story on that? Um, why don't you love me? Is it because I'm crazy? I like to play tag with other demons, hate cults, smear campaigns. I'm weak, so I turn others against you. Said it. I'm not okay right now. It's all about me. I'm needy. I complain a lot. Sin to win your soul plan and God's contract for life for you. Warning. Your ancestors, I said it in my other deck, are protecting you. Kick, kicking Satan's butt. Peace be still. Someone is three weeks pregnant, congrats. He loves me, he loves me not. They playing games, they confused. Um, clap your hands to balance your energy. Twist it, keep sweat, that's how they feel about you. 
Go bump that. That's a good song. Set firm boundaries. Stay away. Keep out. Pray. Meditate. Will you be my wife? Somebody want to propose? They're thinking about it. Love spells to keep you hooked. Warning, you have an energy thief around you. You got this. Take your power back. You inspire evil. How do you do it? That's what they want to know. They can run, but they can't hide from the Holy Spirit. I don't know what love is. I got a lover boy. I think I'm a player. I break hearts for fun. You're about to receive a miracle. Just hold on. Loading. Ooh. I am hungry. You're not pregnant. If someone was worried and they were having a pregnancy scare, that was a close one. It was just a scare. Mm. I make your life confusing so I can get close to your vulnerable side. I want to poke your soft spot. Hates happy people are Kelly reverse. Their soul is empty. Stay focused. Warning. You belong to me. Hi, I'm controlling. I like power. I'm lovesick. Bobby Womack taxi. Take me to the other side of town. He said just as fast as you can. I can't be tamed. I do what I want. Boy, bye. <laughs> oh, my stomach. I'm hungry. Let me stop talking about them. I am hungry. Um, if things seem too smooth, something's wrong. Something about 6 a.m. What's going on? Could be waking up at 6 a.m. Jealousy, attacking your love connections. I'm going to get you one way or another. So they're trying to come to you regardless. Something about 3 a.m. You could be waking up out of your sleep every morning at 3 a.m. Because somebody's trying to do spell work and mess with your dream state or your sleep state. Um, it's men's night. Um, sorry, say bro, let's grab a drink, hang out, get a haircut, go out, hit the gym, call them up, hang out. Me, myself, and I. I'm going to be my own best friend, my Beyonce. Shout out to Beyonce. You're strong. Get up. I can't stop dreaming of you. I'm lovesick. Flattery. Yeah, I said that. I did that. I started drama for attention. I'm full of drama. Unbreak my heart. Tony Braxton. Sex magic. Could be doing it in that motel, Hotel 6. Um, what's the ingredient? Attachment. Hi, love. We're connected forever. Run, get out, alert, 911. Your sex is like a drug. I need you. Got a sex demon, sex entity, ex entity, entity attached to them. Um, you can break something that has damage control. CYG, Courtney, Yvette Grant. I made that quote. Red Bull, it gives you wings. <sighs> Hurry up, Court. Be hungry. Mm. Yep, sending you spiritual attacks. It's almost over. Whatever. Nighttime. Um, you could be having trouble sleeping at this time because look at them over there doing something during the moon cycle, doing spell work and conjuring up darkness to send your way. So you can't sleep or you have you could be having bad dreams, something of the sort. Gold. The devil is starving. Don't fight back. Stay calm. Peace be still. So that's going to be the end of you guys' reading. I hope everyone enjoys the start of your weekend. Stay strong. Stay handsome. Stay beautiful. Stay courageous, powerful. And sending um, bunches of hugs and kisses. Bye. Happy Friday.